My name is Debbie Renton. I'm from St. John, New Brunswick. I attend St. John Vineyard Christian Fellowship. I'm Katherine Hansen, and I work at Alliant as a project manager. I'm, I'm Louise Armstrong, and uh, this is my husband, Jerry, and we're from St. John, New Brunswick. My name is Reg Sutton. I'm from St. John, New Brunswick, Canada. My name is Marcus Chris. Uh, I'm a stay-at-home dad. Hi, I'm Melissa Cormier, and I'm 16, and I go to KBHS High School. I'm Connie Boyer, and I'm a cardiology technologist. I am Mark Hansen, and I am in eighth grade at Perry Miller Middle School. Uh-huh. My name is Rod Anderson. I work in sales back in St. John. And uh, this is my first short-term missions trip, and it's really fun to be here. It's an adventure, and I'm, I'm looking forward to sharing Christ with people who are open to here. Um, I'm Kimberly Anderson, and I'm 17, and I work at Tim Hortons, and I go to school at Valley Christian Academy. My name's Chris Braden. I'm a vagabond, bohemian. Uh, what, is our, uh, what is our mission here, Tom? Uh, I think mostly it's to learn. Uh, I think just to see what God's doing here, to know that God's at work everywhere, and uh, to go and kind of find out what, what he's up to, and uh, to uh, sort of lend a hand where we can. So that'll involve some things like building a sidewalk in a, quite a swampy area for the youth with a mission base. Uh, some of our team will spend time in orphanages and schools, uh, just spending some time encouraging children, doing a little help with their homework, um, trying to talk just with people on the street that we meet, uh, try to share Christ that way. And why are we doing this? Yeah, just be stretched in the heart kind of thing, like just uh, seeing how life is in different, like this isn't like home. <laughs> I'm no expert, but uh, it's, it's really more just about serving, just about being a servant for me. It's not. Not so much that I have some great skills to offer that can't be found down here, but just uh, I, I want to be a servant. just want to serve the Lord in this way. We came to see if, there's, if God's calling our church to continue to do work here in Belize, to uh, become a church that's planting churches and spreading God's word. I think that uh, you're not going to want to change someone's culture. You don't want them to be like you. Uh, Jesus is going to meet them where they are. He's going to transform their lives where they live. He's going to conform them to the image just right exactly where they are. So being conformed to the image of Christ isn't taking on Western standards. It's taking on the nature of God. And so we, I, I, we're not here to ask anyone to change anything except to invite Christ in. I don't think missions is about bringing our culture to people. I've always been opposed to history, whether you hear about the British thinking the only way to do things is to do it their way, and I think that's wrong. I think they, they killed a lot of culture and a lot of good things. Doesn't mean what we're doing is right. Everywhere I go, I've taken this pin and taken a picture of it. So when I go, like when we were in the Bangor airport, I took a picture of it. And when on the gold couch in there, I put it on the gold couch. Did and you bring it upstairs on the roof? No, I didn't put it on the roof. But it, it was roof. like in every airport and every hotel room I've been in so far. And so it's like, this is my boyfriend's website. So uh, it's like he's with me oh. wherever I've been. <laughs> I need everybody to move over just a little. And maybe spread it out a little bit. Yeah. Everybody's oh, coming no. off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We are in Belize and we want to remember home and be refreshed in all the heat. So here we are. Ah, the cool. Oh, oh yes. Oh, refreshing. <laughs> Here's another snowstorm from Canada just to make you thankful you're in Belize. Oh, the plow. And <laughs> I'm with the shovel. Ha! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Chris, I just saw you running really fast. I never working, run. Making a sweat. Really fast. What were you doing? I was chasing sheep. <laughs> chasing sheep? Why, three, why were you chasing sheep? Because we have to go around and clean up sheep dung uh, for the wedding tomorrow, so people don't... They're going back and forth between here and down there. We didn't want, you know, wedding people in their nice clothes stepping in sheep dung. Yes, good morning, Robin. How are you? Are you on speaker now? Wow, that's great. Good morning, St. John Vineyard. <laughs> I'll hand you over to Tim. He can talk better than I do. <laughs> Good morning, church. How are you, Robin? Good morning. We're standing outside in beautiful, sunny Belize. It's gorgeous here. We've been at the YWAM base. Uh, we've kind of easy start to things. There's two main project areas. One is that we're building a sidewalk here at the YWAM base and that'll occupy probably half of us for a good solid three or four days. And then probably the other half of the team will be visiting a children's home. Pretty good tire, in my experience. Uh, I think the Lord sent me down here to put in a sidewalk. That's what I felt. And that's what we're going to do. 12, I think we're working 16 hour days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We're going to try to get that in and plus more. So, 16 hour day? That's what I was told. All day. Wow. Yeah. So gotta... what, would, uh, what would influence you to, to come to all the way down here and put in a 16 hour day? Uh, the Holy Spirit intrigued me to come down to, to help to, to see this job through. We are bringing the message of God to the people of Belize and just helping out the YWAM base and showing them God's love through the Vineyard Ministry. I hope that it'll, it'll change the lives of the people who live here and ours as well that um, we'll be able to come back here again and just continue to do it like every year. Well, just to get to know God and to make God known, which is on a sign that's across, that's right in the YWAM base, but just to help people. Not everyone that Hala God will, will enter into the kingdom, but who really does the, the work. And many a times you see people starting up churches and it is for uh, financial gain. Um, like my grandfather used to call them sky pirates. If they find out that they can make it with their collections and so forth, and the, the revenues they collect from abroad, then they, they will disband on what they have. And you could find out that if they didn't have the strength to to forbear, then they weren't actually of God. Um, in this modern time, we do need more people to come inside our country so that they could grow because it takes foreigners to, to build a nation. We just had a great little ride on a manual ferry. The ancient Mayan ruins. I think it's a great workout, actually. I'm gonna run those stairs. Me and my friend Greg here. Let's go, Greg. Hello, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? 
Hello, can you hear me? No, it's getting better. This is our, this is our heritage in it. What do we know about the uh, the artwork? The artwork that's uh, carved in there. Uh, well, I don't know a whole lot about it. I'm not supposed to give information on that. Only the tour guide is licensed to do that. Really? Yep. Oh, and that's it, what that sign was. Yeah. Anybody else do that is illegal. So all I say is, hey, it's beautiful, it's fantastic, it's Belize, only there you find it. Enjoy it. I am staying here for the rest of my life. Right on top of this ruin? Yes. Because <laughs> I don't think I can get down. What's your husband going to say about that? We have a fellow here, his name is Reg. And he can read. Because it says here, please do okay, not the climb so on the roof. We're, in the, we're on the top of... Mayan ruins. What's your thoughts? I don't know how many feet, but I'll take a picture of these guys down here on the ground. Just so I can get that perspective. My thoughts are awesome. What a perfect day. It's so clear. It's the coolest thing I've ever done in my life. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> I'm totally ruined for the ruins, man. <laughs> That's a good one. That was deep. <laughs> Had to take you there. Yeah. <laughs> I, I find it hard to to look at my life and I start complaining if something is not on time or if something isn't as good because we live in this society where satisfaction is guaranteed. If I don't like something, I go back to the store and exchange it. And here people live and there is no choice. You take what you get and if you don't like it, too bad. I've seen people that have much less than I do, but they are much more happier than I am. And even a lot of the Christians who could complain and say, God bless me, why don't you bless me? Why don't I have what all the others have? They have a much bigger joy in their heart in following Christ than, than I do. I have come a long way to stand here and proclaim my faith. Take as little as you have to. <clears throat> no longer What's the project we got right here? This is the sidewalk project. This is the project on Monday to start the pour. Nice. It runs down to the end there. So. Well, it looks like you got a good team working with you here. Well, we're working with them. Right near up. Big orange pig. Now, how do you feel about the progress so far? Actually, I think we're a little bit ahead of schedule, really. Uh, I thought we'd still be. Uh, Owen and shoveling today, but uh, 
got another half the sidewalk done. Guys, we're mixing. It's going to be probably hard work. Just going to go at her now for the next while. And here comes the boss. Here comes the boss. We need water for the concrete. We're going to use a three to one mix. Three to one. Three to one. Turn the water on. There's no water. <laughs> There's no water like Brazilian water. There's no water I know. Here we have the no water in Belize, hour of power. And now the first up here today is Marco. It's Mark Boom Boom Hansen. So tell us all about your adventures last night, Mark. How did it go at Carpet Pool? It went pretty good. Are you a champ? No. We can paint it tomorrow. I think it's a gay experience to come to a different country and work for God and just do mission work, mission work and be a servant. Yeah, it's, it's a great experience. Any struggles? Not really. No, well, the heat was a little hard to get used to in the beginning, but I think it's coming around. Well, today's great. Yeah, of course. <laughs> we love today. What are we doing here? Oh, well, I'm just trying to get this wall done. But it's uneven at the bottom on the ground here, and I can't put my step ladder here, so I'm just innovating. We're trying to serve the Lord here in some way, helping these people who, uh, who are running this YWAM base, and they need some helping hands, so we're helping them out. I'm filling my bucket for the fifth time so that I can keep scrubbing the walls. I figure that the brown water just isn't getting it clean, so... I'm on the outside the building still, scrubbing bathroom doors. Well, just, we have so much more and take it for granted, I guess, and you always want to come down and help. So that's what I felt like doing, volunteering my time and just give these folks a hand down here. What's your motivation, quickly? They'll have a nicer place to be in when we're finished. It'll be so pretty. And I'm sure that'll make them feel better. It's, it's all about spreading the positive better. vibes. <laughs> Peeling a million potatoes. A million? <laughs> it feels like it. Now, what are we going to do with all these potatoes? We're going to have potato scallop. The real McCoy, as Greg says. We're getting the real deal potato scallop today. Now, is this what missionary work is? Yep. <laughs> this is part of it. What part well, of it is? Well, you have to feed everybody that's here. So, it's part of it. Right, here we have the tarantula. <laughs> yeah. This one, of course, very lonely for us. <laughs> we can't do it. <laughs> Woo! We got this wonderful team from St. John's, I believe it is, New Brunswick, Canada, that came down here after raising all their own monies to come down here and monies to do the sidewalk. We're putting on the sidewalk. The sidewalk is right around 500 feet long. We have 11 men and 10 ladies from this church, and they're uh, a blessing to this base, both for what the job they're doing and to each individual on the base, because of the relationships that we form are lasting relationships. Here we are. It's Tuesday, 3.30. We've been born for three hours. And we have now completed the second half of the 120 meter walkway. All right. The only thing left will be a small section tomorrow morning. We got one more mix and we are done. Does that mean I get to have a shower? You can have a shower. These were my church clothes, as everybody knows. But now, I need a hose. Huh? We just completed 120 meters hand poured the very best concrete sidewalk. Basically what you're saying is approximately a tenth of a kilometer. Well when you put it in that perspective it doesn't sound like much. I like 120 meters. These nice folks are trying to teach us how to lose our money 
And we're just trying to cooperate because we're just <laughs> passive. You mind if I have a look in your camera? Because I know you got them on the cards. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. A little rewind there. <laughs> okay, this is a product of stubborn white Canadian not wanting to put suntan lotion on because he wants a tan. You're on your own to learn. Okay, um, Carla, what, what are you doing here? Well, right now, like, what's, what's going on? We're working on the YWAM base, which is like a missionary um, organization in Belize. So we're helping them with their organization and painting it for them. Um, I think it's still important, even if you're not like the front line missionary kind of thing, you're still like doing backstage stuff, like painting and cleaning and building sidewalks. It's all part of it. So. It all helps. Like even if it's cleaning toilets and you really hate it, you just kind of are worshiping God while you're doing it. I've learned so much about myself and about um, helping other people and what it, how important it is, and just the culture, how different it is here, and how much need there is. Mm. I think it's put a lot of things in perspective for me when I go back home. I think on some trips or projects you do, after one day you'd say, okay, I can go home now and be happy. You know, I'll, I'll do the rest of this, but what I came for, you know, has happened. And so far, I think most people are saying that they're still waiting for that. It's kind of like, you know, I want to I wanna be used by God in maybe a more direct way, a uh, more tangible way. And uh, so we're just, we're trying to let the Lord do that, not force it or push it. But at the same time, if we can, uh, if we can see another opportunity, I think that's what people are really chomping at the bit for. I, I came totally, I guess, oblivious to what we would be doing. Um, I had hoped we would be a little bit more involved in the community and helping people that live, live outside of the base. Helping missionaries do their work is very important too. For every person who is out on the street preaching the word of the Lord, there's usually five to eight people behind the scenes that keeps that person out on the street. Like Tim was talking this morning about uh, tomorrow we're going to be going back to Belize City and there's some uh, people that like squat at this dump and just doing some street level meeting people, which would be good before I go home, just so we're not like... Yeah, we hung out at the YWAM base for uh, a few days. It was like a resort. They fed us good. Great people, but what the crap, you know? Like, it's good. It is awesome. I love it. But it would be good to just meet some other people, too, that aren't as privileged. Right now, what we are is part of missions infrastructure support, which is uh, just things that need to get done. And we've been glad to do that. Probably the... Um, Disappointment is too strong a word, but we do have a hunger, I think, to be a little closer to um, people in the street. And so we're just looking at the possibility of um, being able to return to Belize City a little early and uh, to be able to do a little bit of street evangelism there. We, we will have our opportunity, it sounds like, to uh, do some more work at a couple of children's homes in Belize City. If we really found ourselves at loose ends, we could buy some bulk food and, uh, and go into that dump shantytown area and perhaps give out bags of rice, uh, something like that. <laughs> What's your name? Are you sweeping? Doing a good job, give me five. Tim, and uh, we are really glad to be here. 
Whitworth uh, from Canada, and I'm going to ask our team just to stand up so you can see us a little bit. I, I just feel like through the people that I have in my life, like my parents and my friends that just love me and no matter um, how I act or just, uh, you know, they accept me who I am and that, uh, I think God's like that too, just His love is so unconditional. And my school has 411 kids in it and it's really hard to be a Christian there because you, you're afraid to be left out of groups and the Christians that are there, they just shy away and they don't want to talk about it. So coming here to Belize, it's really helped me come back up to Christ. And I don't know what else I can say, but I'm really good at hockey. Okay, on the count of three, I want everybody to wave. One, two, three, woo! Thank you. I met the Lord about a year and a half ago. And since then, my pictures have turned out so much better because I believe that when I look through my camera, I, I see what God has created. And I see what, what He wants me to shoot and what He wants me to show other people. So this base is, uh, has the same kind of background that we have. At one point it came to Christ. And there are many people in this nation that belong to our family, or we could say we belong to their family because we have the same lineage. Our lineage now goes back to Jesus because we've been born again into another family. My soul is thirsty, Lord, and my flesh is faint. All that is inside me is longing for you, wanting to drink deeply of your love. I will thirst for you. 